Hello friends and DIYers, let's continue our DR100 What Concept Project Programming Adventure and you are watching episode 4, The Real Hardware. In the past videos, we learned the art of programming inside the PASCOM 8051 IDE in its simulation mode that is just running inside our own PC and now we want to see the real world of programming on its own real hardware and that's awesome. So in this video, we will talk about the 8051 Micro and its associated component that we can use in our programming adventure and let's do that after my intro. There are several 8051 core derivatives as I mentioned in my Intel 8051 introduction. Here it is. Developed and first manufactured by Intel, Intel Corporation. Like for example, Dallas, Philips, Atmel, Siemens, or Infineon, Megawin, STC, and there are many, many more manufacturers who make use of the 8051 in their own products. And I tried several including the Atmel 8089C51 or the 8089S52 micros from Atmel, but uh, I settled down with the STC micro, that so-called the standard speed or traditional 8051 which is pin-to-pin -pin compatible with the original Intel 8051 on its 40 pins package. STC Micro referred to it as the traditional or the standard 8051. The exact part number I'm using is the STC 90C516RD+. You know, I emphasize this as uh, there are modern 8051 core MCUs which are faster with one crystal pulse for instruction and they may not be compatible with the old program. They are quite fast. And STC referred to this MCU as 1T8051 or high speed 8051. Another hardware that we need is the USB to UART bridge. Sometimes it is called as USB ASP. We need this hardware to connect our micro into the PC via the USB port. Of course, the USB bridge must be driven by an application software running on the PC. It is called STC ISP and it is free. I will include a LED and a 560 ohms dropping resistor as a part of the hardware. Its function is to act as a display where we can see the result of the program. For example, a blinking LED. As we go on with the hardware by interfacing more device, the ultimate display will be the 20x4 LCD which is gonna be another video. For now, we are okay with the LED. The 12 MHz crystal will be an external clock source along with the 30 pF capacitor as required for an active crystal. Well, that's the basic hardware we need to get started in the real world of programming our STC8051 Micro. I hope you can easily get it from your nearest electronic store. In the early days, we made a dedicated development board specific for the DR100 project. I call it DR100 Control Module. It's a kit with all the necessary parts like the PCB, the resistors, capacitors, even the micro pin socket, switches, wires, and the USB to UART bridge. Basically, it consists of all the things you need to complete the module with the circuit description, assembly, as well as testing. Maybe someday, if some will be interested, perhaps uh, we can build a kit once again. If you have further questions on our starter hardware, you can reach me on the email below. I would be glad to assist. If you know someone who are interested to build a powerful man machine interface or NMI and controlling to his amplifier project using a microcontroller, kindly share this video. Thank you for that. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel with lots of free tutorials. By subscribing, you let my channel to grow. Bye for now and see you in the next video. Don't miss that guys.